This is the episode of the glorious appearing. It is promised in the scriptures that Jesus will be seen when he appears. He'll be seen around the world simultaneously. Technically possible with headline news. So, who is Jesus? This is the guy we've been telling you about from Miami. I'm not kidding you. Jesus has demanded seven minutes of airtime tonight. We've told Jesus six minutes. If I am all of a sudden swarmed with flies on tonight's episode, I don't know what happened there, huh? It's kind of a big day uh, in the religious world with the passing of Jerry Falwell and religious uh, experts all wonder, what will it be like when Jesus returns? Will he arrive with a chorus of angels and look down upon us from his uh, majestic perch in the clouds, spreading his message of love, peace, and forgiveness? Scholars, relax, and finally catch up on all the episodes of Lost you've been missing. You no longer have to worry about when Jesus will return or what he'll look like. He's already here. Turns out the Son of God is a 60-year-old former heroin addict and convict, a divorced father of four who was born in Puerto Rico and now lives in southern Florida with his second wife. So instead of constantly wondering what would Jesus do, let's ask him. Give it up for the reincarnation of Jesus Christ himself, or so he says, Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda. Jose, do I call you Jose? What do I call you? That's fine. Jose Luis is Jose my Luis. first name. Okay. Jose Luis, you, your supporters, um, are known for people who tattoo 666 on their body. And I understand you have a 666 tattooed on yours. Yes. Why I is do. that? Well, the the first person that was called antichrist was the apostle paul because in his times he taught people not to put the eyes on jesus of nazareth because jesus of nazareth he wasn't a christian he was a jewish so he practiced jewish religion so paul said if we know christ after the flesh we don't look at him anymore uh -huh. so that's why the apostles thought that paul was against Jesus, right. but really he was presenting Jesus after the cross, not before but, the cross. But okay, so but you're saying that you know that six 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 thing that you know the mark of the beast has nothing to do with that. No, that's that's. See, John was a member of the circumcision, and he he didn't he didn't see clear. That's why he oh, said, okay. "I saw." But an you you do see clear because did angels appear to you and say that you are Jesus reincarnated? Well, two angels in 1973, while I was living in Boston, Massachusetts, they came to me and they they told me prepare because the King of Kings uh, and Lord of Lords if coming to you tonight to anoint you for the ministry. I didn't understand the whole concept of anointing me. Maybe I thought like you sure. see evangelicals does, they put, they lay hands on you with oil, whatever. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like that. When he came, he integrated himself within me. And all of a sudden, you know, this knowledge, this wisdom about uh, the gospel of the on circumcision and uh, that the true gospel was uh, in those 14 letters of Paul and then Paul said that when Jesus come for the second time he will be teaching according to his gospel and in 2000 years I'm the only one who is teaching according to Paul you know let me ask you this question because you know you have you seen the you must be flattered that the WWG uh, JD thing do you like that I mean as Jesus do you like the WWJD what would Jesus do uh, what would you know Jesus, where people are asking, what would Jesus do? Well, Jesus, you know, there is a lot of things that they say about Jesus, but, you know, they expect him in a club, but he, right. he said he will come as a thief but of aren't the night. You, but aren't you Jesus? I am Jesus Christ, man. Okay. And it's weird that uh, Jesus said he was going to come like a thief in the night, and you've been arrested for petty theft. But uh, the, the band that says, what would Jesus do, um, let me ask you this. You have a Cartier Pasha watch. I'm a watch collector, and it's encrusted in diamonds. I understand that's a $142,000 watch. You have a 7 Series BMW, an armored Lexus. You live on $130,000 a year, but they say that you live over your lifestyle and your means. You were arrested for heroin and petty theft. Theft. Wouldn't the question really be, what would Jesus not do? <laughs> that's that's a good way of putting it. But uh, 
Look, I live, I live uh, humbly. I have a modest salary for the income that I. One hundred and thirty thousand I mean, dollars. That yeah. puts you in a rich category by most politician standards. Yeah, but the millions that come for the ministry that we invest all over the world, oh. uh, those those hundred thirty thousand, I, I even use that part even for the ministry, you know. Oh, okay. But so, you have people who will give you millions of dollars. You have donors that well, give millions I, of dollars I, to I your have, ministry. I have millionaires with the congregation, mm -hmm. uh, and I made them happy, you know, by finding the truth, by taking that veil out of their eyes and lighting their eyes right. of the understanding. They. I help them become millionaires because once right. you know the grace of God, you know you prosper. Well, so in in, ch in chain, you know they they give me money for the ministry okay. because they know other people knows sure. what they know. Jesus, it's been good to have you on. It uh, it really has. We're out of time. I, I wanted to ask you if you felt a little ripped off by your birthday being on Christmas, or if you get the two presents or not. But thank you very much, and we'll be back in just a minute. In a tattoo parlor on trendy South Beach, you did the six 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 really big. Yeah. Sat the daughter of the man who claims to be God. He's back. He's here to teach us that we should reign in life, that there is no sin, and today we're honoring him with a symbol. Joanne de Jesus is one of several dozen members of a religious sect called Crescienda en Gracia, or Growing in Grace. They were tattooed on their arms, ankles even their necks with 666, the biblical sign of the Antichrist. Why? Because their spiritual leader says he is the Antichrist, not the embodiment of evil, but rather the second coming. 666, Antichrist means do not put your eyes on Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Put it in Jesus after the cross. And that's you? That's me. And he says the word Antichrist is a bad translation of a word that actually means the new Christ, the second coming. Puerto Rican-born Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda founded the sect 20 years ago in a warehouse outside Miami. You receive it, you accept it, you confess it, and it's done unto you. The charismatic 61-year-old de Jesus claims millions of followers, most in Latin America. His sect does have hundreds of churches, cable TV stations, and says it brought in $1.4 million in donations last year and he boasts of a rapidly growing presence in the United States. In an interview with us in September, he declared, I do greater things than Jesus of Nazareth, much greater. Now, sporting his new tattoos, Seis, 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 Triple S. Huh? De Jesus says those expecting the second coming of Christ on a cloud with angels have misinterpreted what Jesus himself said. He said it. You won't see me anymore because he will come in another body, which is me. He's in their head. He's inside the heads of those people. De Jesus is dangerous, says religion professor Daniel Alvarez, because he believes he's God. And this megalomaniacal uh, moves are the ones that are very disturbing because it shows that he does believe he's on hype and he's capable of saying to his members, go to 2666 on your arm. I believe he's also capable of asking his church members to do even something more dramatic than that. De Jesus laughs at the implication. They always say those things. They're going to keep waiting for me to kill everybody. You know. <laughs> right. I'm giving life to people. De Jesus is referring to the suicide death of more than 900 killed in the so-called Jonestown Massacre nearly 30 years ago. But he says mass suicide would never happen with his followers. If somebody tells us, listen, drink some Kool-Aid and then we'll go to heaven, that's not true. We are already in heavenly places. De Jesus preaches that heaven can be found here on earth simply by following him. There's no sin and there is no hell. And that's part of why he's attracting so many followers. But marking your body with 666 seems an unusual way to show you're a Christian, even unnerving the tattoo artist. I see you wearing a cross. Protection. <laughs> John Zarella, CNN, Miami Beach.
Preacher Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda is nothing if not a self made man. Founding his own religious sect in a Miami warehouse, he now spreads his word via his own satellite channel with worshippers following him like a rock star. But his lavish lifestyle and curious beliefs have more than a few people wondering if he's suffering, well, from a Messiah complex. CNN's John Zarella reports. Nine bodyguards surround 60 year old Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda. Dressed in a finely tailored suit, he greets his followers as he walks a red carpet into a 500 seat auditorium packed with members of his congregation. His presence brings tears of joy and an outpouring of song. De Jesus is founder and leader of Creciendo en Gracia, or Growing in Grace, a religious sect that claims millions of members around the world. But there's no way to know for sure. You receive it, you accept it, you confess it, and it's done unto you. The sign on the pulpit looks like the American Eagle, but reads, The Government of God on Earth. It is a sect with some very different beliefs. We don't believe in sin. We don't believe in the devil. We don't believe that there is such a place like hell. Which makes the Ten Commandments irrelevant. Those rules are good for the society, but not for the kingdom of God. The truth is not found in the Gospels, says De Jesus, but in the letters of Paul. De Jesus once said he was a reincarnation of Paul. Then two years ago, he proclaimed himself Christ. Oh, I won't die. No, I won't die. You're not dying. No, no, I won't die. Even if you try to kill me. And his followers believe him. The man Christ Jesus is here among us. Dr. Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda is the man Christ Jesus. The Puerto Rican born de Jesus admits to drug use and spending time in jail as a youth. Now he claims God has merged with him. He said, I will appear for the second time without relationship to sin. And that's what I'm doing. I do greater things than Jesus of Nazareth. Much greater. Greater than Jesus of Nazareth? Much greater. Does that make you greater than Jesus? Of I am greater than him. You are? Yes, because I teach better than him. He spoke in parables. I teach wisdom and revelation. He does not perform miracles, he says, because the second coming is based on teaching and building the church. And his followers are not shy about their belief. They've confronted Catholics outside of church and held rallies in Miami. Tearing up religious writings of other faiths. In El Salvador, they demonstrated outside a cathedral and smashed statues of Jesus. Sometimes it gets out of hand because of the other people. They began shouting. So you're blaming them? Yeah, well, they get wild, not us. De Jesus' followers are also generous handing over envelopes of cash that go into his wife's purse. There's many people that accuse us of giving everything to the apostle, 90, 100 percent. Uh, that's not necessarily true. His daughter, the church treasurer, says they brought in $1.4 million in donations last year here in the United States. Most of it, they say, goes to expenses and running cable television networks here and in Latin America. The electricity, they send me a bill. Telephone, they send a bill. I go to take a plane, they charge me. We need money, John. The system down here is money. His salary is reported as $136,000 a year. He lives richer than that. A lavish home, expensive cars. You've got a beautiful, what is that, a Rolex you're wearing? Yes. Beautiful Rolex and the, the, the diamond encrusted uh, ring there and the gold chain. I don't only have one, I have about three Rolexes, given by my beautiful people who love me so much. Mm -hmm. This is all free, you know, gifts that they give me. I can reject that.